One of the biggest problems with the MacBook Pro 2019, the 16 inch variety with the Intel chip, is that it got so hot. I believe the 18 model was even hotter and there was the whole fan gate thing going on with Apple, but uh, this one is pretty hot too. Now, if you have this on your lap, and that's where we have it when we are working with a laptop, uh, sometimes, right? A lot of times it's on the desk, but there are those occasions where we have it on the lap and it was not super comfortable with the Intel machine, right? I've also been using the MacBook Air M1 for the past year, well, almost a year now, and this thing is a pleasure to use. I gotta say that this machine has been incredible. I haven't had that much time with the new MacBook Pros, with the 14 or the 16, but I am gonna spend some time with them. But before I do that, <laughs> that's why I have this thing, let's run some seriously crazy builds and take the temperature. I wanna try to juice these things as much as I can and then take a reading from the bottom of the case. That's where your lap is, right? Not on the top and do it from the bottom. All right, so here's what we're doing today. I've got these four machines here. Again, just to review what they are. MacBook Pro 2019 with 64 gigs of RAM, the 16 inch variety. It's got an Intel Core i9 chip in it, pretty hot. MacBook Air M1. Nothing else to that. MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M1 Pro chip and MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Max chip. Okay, now I do have TG Pro running on all these machines and it's telling me what the RPM of the fan is and what the temperature of the machine is. So the Intel machine is at 61 degrees and just standing there not doing anything, the fan is spinning at 1700 RPM. That'll kill your battery. Uh, of course, the MacBook Air doesn't have a fan. It's nice, cool 38 degrees, just sitting there not doing anything. MacBook Pro 14 is at 49 degrees, fan is off. And MacBook Pro is at 46 degrees, fan is off. I've got two pretty big Xcode projects on all these machines. And by now you've probably already seen me do tests on all these with both of these projects. One is the Xcode benchmark created by Max Yerimenka. Thank you for that. That's a really helpful project to run. It's a benchmark uh, containing pretty large Xcode project with over uh, 70 dependencies, 40 plus Cocoa Pods that are all being built. And I can run this from a command line thanks to this uh, benchmark shell script that uh, Max wrote. Basically, it just triggers an Xcode build uh, from the command line. Other one I have here is WebKit, and that's a huge, huge project. You might have seen uh, my separate tests on how long it takes to build them. I'm not doing the timing test this time. I'm doing the temperature test, but hopefully running these both of these at the same time on the same machine will uh, get it nice and warm, nice and toasty. And without further ado, let's do it. The command to do that is uh, to build WebKit is tools, scripts, build WebKit, dash, dash, debug. They're all ready to go. I just need to hit enter on all these and off they go. And also I'm gonna run that uh, Xcode benchmark test as well on all of these. Whew, this is gonna get warm in here, folks. <laughs> Luckily I'm not doing this in the middle of summer. So thanks Apple for releasing this later in the year. As Soon as I start hearing the Intel fans, that's my cue to check the temperatures. And there we go. We're at 2800 RPM on the Intel box, 3000 RPM, 3100 RPM, and 95 degrees. The uh, MacBook Air is at 89 degrees, MacBook Pro 86, and the other MacBook Pro at 85. So we're heating up, we're heating up here. Because these two builds take different amounts of time, I'm going to take the temperature when the shorter of the two, which is the Xcode benchmark, is going to finish. But the other project is still going to keep running, so it's gonna give me a little bit of time without slowing down the system fans or lack of fans. It's gonna give me some time to measure. Now, all these are in the orange right now. Has anybody hit red yet? I'm hearing a lot of noise now from the MacBook Pro, the Intel variety. Ah, the notched varieties also turned on their fans now. So probably what's happening with the MacBook Air right now is it's being throttled, I'm guessing, because we're at 98 degrees here and it's not going higher than that, but there is no fan, so uh, we gotta do something. We gotta slow down that process, right? MacBook Pro is at 5,300 RPM. Okay, so <laughs> the Intel one is actually not getting to the orange. It's at 86. The other ones are all orange. 
hovering between 94 and 99. But the fans on the 14 inch are 24 RPM, 2400 RPM and 1500 RPM on the big one. And that one is done with the build, I believe. Okay, so let's take the temperature over there on the bottom, right where the lap is, right over there. And we're at 37 degrees. Is that the hottest point? That's kind of hard to believe. It's not that hot. 37 degrees down there and 35 up here. Yeah, that's not even that hot. Okay, this one is done. So let's measure the temperature of this one. We're also at 37 over here. Oh, 38. So this one is a little warmer by a degree. 37 up on top. Let's check out MacBook Air. I know I said I'll wait, so I should probably wait, but right now it's at 37. Let's check the Intel machine. Ooh, this one's at 45, 46. Yep, 45 and 46, we're almost at 46. Here's 46.2 on this spot. So clearly the winner, as far as the higher temperature, if that were to be considered winning, which is not, so far as the Intel machine. So the MacBook Air is now done with the first build at 39 degrees. So MacBook Air warmed up quite a bit. I'm gonna kick off that uh, Xcode benchmark process one more time just to give it a little bit more heat. Maybe we'll get those temperatures a little bit higher. We'll see. Intel machine is still running the Xcode benchmark, hasn't finished the first one yet. But because the fan is spinning so hard on the Intel machine, it's going at 5,400 RPM. It's actually not even hitting orange as far as the temperature. So it's staying a little bit cooler at 85 degrees, cooler than the rest of these machines, which is pretty interesting. It's also the loudest one. Now you might've seen my video measuring just the volume, the relative vo volume between all these machines. And I had the microphone right on top of the machines just to get a relative volume between them. It's not gonna be representative of how loud uh, the machines get in an environment like this. But you could hear the noise in the microphone in that video when I was doing the individual tests and uh, the Intel machine was pretty loud, but not as loud, of course, as our friend, our new friend over here, the 16 inch uh, 2021 MacBook Pro. One more thing to add about fans in general and noise level. If you have larger fans, they're gonna move more air and the new MacBook Pro have larger fans. So they're gonna move more air and they don't need to work as hard to cool the system down. And smaller fans generally make more noise than larger fans. If you have a, those house fans, and if you have a smaller one, you can compare the noise level to a larger fan. You'll see that for the same amount of air moved, the smaller fans are gonna be louder. And that's what this MacBook Pro from 2019 has, the Intel variety. Fans are spinning faster and they're louder. So I've kicked off the process again. Oh, we're at 100 degrees on the 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. Let's check the temperature underneath. 40 degrees, wow, okay. Getting warm on that one. This one is done with the Xcode benchmark test. Let's check that one. That one's at 40 degrees also. Wow, so those warmed up quite nicely. This one, 40 degrees. So all the Apple Silicon machines have reached 40 degrees. And let's check our Intel machine, which is 44, 45, hovering around there. So. That's at the very top of our temperature scale so far. By the way, that uh, WebKit project is still compiling. It's still taking a while to do that one. And I'm gonna run the benchmark one more time on all these. Let's go. Let's see if we can get higher than 40 degrees underneath. Now, what's it on top? On top, we got 41, 41, and 41. It's warming up in here, folks. 41 over here too, they're all 41. Just to make sure I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's 30 degrees up there. 41, 41, 42, 43. Okay, so the top temperature is slightly higher than the temperature on the bottom, it looks like, where you'd have it on your lap. And the MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M1 Pro chip is showing 103 degrees right now. 
None of these other machines have even hit 100 yet, but this one has. Interesting. Let's take the temperature reading right now. And we're at 43 degrees on the bottom. What are we here on this one? We're at 39, oh, 41. Okay, 41 in certain spots. I'll take the higher number. And 41 over here on the MacBook Air. And the Intel machine. 44. So the Intel machine is consistent. It's constantly hot. These have gradually been warming up over time. And now they're reaching those same levels, almost the same levels by a degree or two that the Intel machine is. So what is comfortable? Let me put this on my lap. Now, initial reaction is that it's uncomfortable, right? But in reality, you could work like this. What else can we do here? Um, let's do a Linus video that's 4K. Suffering. <laughs> we got a 4K video playing on all these machines. It's actually pretty smooth on all of them. While we're doing that crazy build, let's run the benchmark again. Can we push this past uh, the highest temperature so far? It looks like the Intel machine is just getting cooler and cooler. Well, those fans are working extra hard and you can probably still hear that. The video has been playing. Both builds are still happening. Let's check the temperature. 38, 42. This has been a pretty hot one right here. 42 on the MacBook Air. And we're still at 44 on the Intel machine. One thing I noticed right now is that the Intel machine is only 20% battery left. Now, all these started out at 100%. Um, I was doing my Docker video earlier, so that one took a little bit of a beating on these. They were unplugged the whole time. 20% left on the Intel machine. I, I know you don't have any reference on how much battery is, but I'm, I'm kind of just trying to show you and tell you what happened earlier today. 47 on the MacBook Air M1, 38% left on the uh, MacBook Pro 14 inch. By the way, I'm a little disappointed in that battery life for the 14 inch MacBook Pro M1 Pro. And the winner with 79% left, as far as battery goes, is that 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip. Not only because it has more cores, so it's working probably a lot harder, but uh, it's also lasting the longest. So I think all these machines will be dead before that one even gets close. Really nice on the battery life on that one. All right, folks, we've got some temperatures. I don't think we're gonna get any hotter than that. So that's what we've got. Thanks a lot. If you found this video useful or entertaining, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. It helps me out. And if that subscribe button is still red, make sure you turn it gray so you don't miss any content like this going forward. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.